What's been your biggest song so far in your music catalog? Uh, my biggest song in my music catalog is a song called WIA, and that stands for Where I'm At. And why do you consider that song in particular to be your biggest at this point? Uh, well, one, just going off the streaming data, uh, but two, it also was a, you know, for somebody that sing a lot of uh, ballads and mid-tempo, slow-tempo, it was one of the upbeat songs that I feel like I kind of cracked the code or I got it really sing, singing on an up-tempo record. Yeah. Now, in regards to this song, mm -hmm. is there any unknown facts or stories in regards to it that's never been publicly mentioned before? Could be in regards to creating it, recording it, or releasing it. Mm, uh, man, let me think. Uh, nah, I mean, I didn't lay most of the melodies. I, like, the melodies was laid by me and two other people. Uh, yeah, that's probably the only unknown thing. Yeah. And did you know when you were creating, recording, or releasing this song uh -huh. back in those days that it was going to become one of your biggest? I knew it was going to be a big radio record. I knew it was. I knew it was, I knew it was going to be a, a big record for me. I did. And at what point did you get that feeling? Uh, it really was um, playing it back and uh, the, message in, the message in the song. Uh, I felt like for such a meaty story, I was able to tell it on an up-tempo beat that felt like it could be played anywhere in a club, in a car. I was like, yo, the message on this type of record and the melody choice is like fire. I knew it was going to be big. I always knew it. Now, just to cross the T's and dot the I's here, uh -huh. was it a particular platform you released this song on? Uh, mostly all major uh, music platforms. DSPs? Yeah, most DSPs, yeah. Was it a cosign, perhaps, for someone? From someone, excuse me, on this song? Uh, not really. Yeah, this song really just gained strength by it just being so good. Was it a marketing strategy behind it by any chance? Uh, <laughs> not, not really. I mean, as far as the concept, you know, I'm just like driving in a whip, thinking about this shoddy, but no, nah, it really wasn't any type of deep marketing strategy for it besides, you know, the digital marketing team and the genius stuff that they do and what team is that that you're referencing here uh, i mean at that time i was signed to this distribution company called platoon and pardon the brain fog here but mm -hmm. was there a sample in that beat by any chance Nah, no sample and was there a music video released as well for it yeah it was a visualizer release for it and do you credit <laughs> that mm -hmm. with the song success or propelling this song yeah, I feel like any visualizer with a record kind of give the listener uh, a different experience. So, absolutely. And if you can recall the details of the release of this song, was that released at the same time the song was released or was one released a little bit after? Nah. The music video and the song itself? It came out the same time. Now, being that this is one of your biggest songs to date, mm -hmm. has there been any thought on a remix for it? Ah, uh, man, not really. The song was so good by itself, I was just like, I don't really need nobody else on it. Yeah. What is your opinion on remixes, speaking of that as well? Yeah, I love remixes. I don't uh, do a lot of them. Uh, you know, uh, it just depends on the story. Sometimes a story don't need to be told by another person uh, or reinterpreted, you know. So, you know, I do, I'm sure I'll do remixes in the future, but you know, with the stuff I've had out right now, those stories have been good being told by myself. And have you ever done a continuation of a story when it comes to your music? Not just with this song in particular, but maybe previous songs you've done. Uh, I feel like this song where I'm at was a part of a project called Caught Between Two Worlds and every song was a continuation of a story. Got it, but never done a part two nah. to a song or nah, 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 a nah. continuation in that manner. Nah. Now, just thinking back, mm -hmm. anything else in regards to this song, you didn't get a chance to mention about it as well. Your biggest song to date in your music catalog. Uh, Well, one of my really good friends, Trey Terrell Roper, Trey, it was my first time meeting him. <laughs> it was his first day in LA, uh, and it was his, and he had moved to LA that day. And uh, yeah, we got introduced. All, all that happened that day, and this was the first, you know, first session he ever had with me. And a last question about this song. Yeah. 
as big as the, excuse me as big as this song has been for you yeah are there any flaws in it when you listen to it back now nah nah no flaws it was it was pretty pretty nice and neat the way it is nothing you wish you could have changed nothing you would have done further to it nah 